there were text messages between Penny and Brad, Penny and me, Penny and one of my researchers, Brad and one of my researchers. Those are the text messages that we have. The text messages between me and Penny, which could prove more of what Penny knew what was going on back then, but didn't say anything about it. Just let it go. That's the part I can't show because those were deleted. So Scott, we do have, but we just got an entire Dropbox full of information from different creators that are seeing all this bullshit. So they sent it to us to go through and put it all out. So it takes a long time to go through folder after folder after folder after text message after text message after picture after picture after screenshot after screenshot for seven and a half months of stuff. So it'll take a little time, but y'all are going to see it. You're going to see more unreleased information from Don and Candace. Videos. Audio. In time. So, hey, so maybe we can um, do a quick review once we're done. Because all the questions you asked, I think we've answered, but they were in different places. So just give, uh, give Agent yeah. a chance to finish um, what she's talking about, and then um, we can go back over it again, like, not once everything's said. And, and I apologize, because I don't think any of us thought we were talking about this tonight. So I, I, I'm sorry. Not, we're just, like, yeah. <laughs> Thank you to everybody that's in the chat that is helping answer the, the, the question. That is um, Don Wells' property that he inherited from his, well, it was, he got it from Clyde Trent, who quick claimed it to him after she was quick claimed it a few years prior from Karen Goad, Don's mother, okay? Um, she, so it is, one way she says she doesn't remember why she waited so long, but the other um, says that um, it's because he had to be married to Candace, okay? I'm just going to say that. Um, that in, before he got the property. So that probably has something to do with her religion because I believe she was LDS. I'm not really sure. I'm just, that's speculation. That's speculation. Okay, now, Karen Goad was married to William. William's sister is married. Mary lives in the triangle piece of property that you see, you see 202, and then you see the, well, the piece of the property right there that's Mary's, okay? Mary is the one that you saw in the Hills on the Ground video that was screaming at them not to come on her property. She's not called the police. She was the little, the little trailer, and she was down by the vehicles, and they were all the way up the driveway, and maybe she was like screaming at them, telling them not to even come down the driveway. Okay, no, LDS. Karen was LDS. Um, okay, now, um, Billy Gishner. Hold on a second. Okay. That was a text message. Okay. Um, Billy Gishner, who owns the trucking company that they were talking about earlier, or the trucking company, the trucking school, they were talking about earlier um, on another live, um, owns the 202 property. See 202, 202 right there on the corner of Simpson Road and, Beach, and uh, Ben Hill. You see that? That is, that is Gishner's. Okay. Gishner owns the CCS trucking school that is over in Fall Branch about 15 minutes away. Well, that same property is where Karen Goode lived in a trailer before, you know, she had moved back to the property or I don't know how it happened, but she lived there in a trailer. Okay. Now, and if you guys watch True Crime Commentary and Scott at the very beginning, they kind of went through all of that stuff. Now, um, it is said that um, this picture that they had up of, do you have the picture? I can, I'm just gonna pull it up right here. Um, this picture, I just pull it up on my phone and show it. I, I, uh, I have it also. Okay, see this picture? This picture that they showed, they said that this guy was Brad, right? Right, right here. Yeah. Okay, so that, that's Brad Wisham, which is 423 Chase. This picture is from 2014, okay? And they clearly called him Darren. So that is not him. However, the cemetery that is on that same, that very same property of CCS Trucking School is McCreary Cemetery. Well, Brad Wisham's grandmother was McCreary. We did, her, we did the ancestry tree, so we know that for a fact. She was McCreary, and that is her family cemetery. Okay, um, so that is the connection there. That, there. that is the whole rundown of where everybody was at in, in, in the story. Now, 423 Chase puts himself puts himself through text messages at Mary Goode's property, Mary Sexton's property, many, multiple times at the beginning of this case. Yeah. And you guys, it was um, verified that, that what was said was that a dark color charger was in Mary's mm -hmm. driveway that night. That is what he said. Okay. So Bernie's name is not mentioned. He said he said a dark colored driveway. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was like, wait, was that? so but he was at Mary's and that's how he knew that. That was what so he was at Mary's at the triangle property right there. There's a trailer that sits right there on that property. That is Mary's property. That's where she lives. That is the mother in law of uh Sherfy, Donna Sherfy Senior. The mother in law. I did a short video on it and so he's dating her daughter or granddaughter or whatever. We we're, we're now we're kind of conflicted on that. So um but regardless, she lives there. <laughs> so okay, so now we have 43 Chase that puts himself on the Hill Road. You know, very shortly after someone went missing, and he has buddied up with Sherfy. Sherfy has a son that's a freaking weirdo. And I can say that because he is. And he was he went down for child pictures, inappropriate, nasty pictures, a month before, about a month before someone went missing. Okay, but he was released on the 21st, I think is what it was, right? 21st, and it was May. So he was out. Now, we have that route. Now, I have, with that said, Brad Wishin, 43 Chase, and his own bill, yes. 43 Chase ate dinner with some at a Mexican restaurant with who? Does anybody know? Can you put it in the chat? Whenever somebody was in town, who ate, who they ate together. They ate at the Mexican restaurant. So we have another connection here. That is ridiculous. BK. And now 
And also, they, him and Vaughn met up as well at one point. Him and Vaughn met up. And do you remember when that was, Scott? I can't remember when exactly that was. Um, it was like the next day, I think, when Brad and Benny were at the Mexican restaurant. They went riding around. Brad showed him the church and everything like that. And I think Benny went to Don's the next day. Right. So there you have it. Now we've got all these people freaking directly connecting themselves to each other. So what okay. Jennifer, themselves... Jennifer is saying they went to see Don before they had Mexican. Okay. Before, okay. I thought it was like really close. Okay. So it was before they had Mexican. They were together. I think, so as I slip up when Benny said why that he was there at North Carolina at the Smoky Mountains at the same time as I want to say, he was in, he wasn't in the Smoky Mountains. He was, he, he's a dummy and he met the Rocky Mountains. <laughs> he called it the Smoky Mountains. So, Brad threatened Don, met, oh, right, exactly. Brad threatened them and then met up with them. But here's the thing. We're talking about people who do everything for a freaking show. Everything. They do everything for clicks and views and everything else. So, he can relevant again. It is to show that he is a shady, shady, shisty man in the middle of all of this mess. He is connected to quite a lot of people that have been talked about. There's a lot of innocent people that have been thrown under the bus strategically to keep attention off of others. And it's not right. And the reason that Summer is not found yet is because of this. My only goal, her birthday is tomorrow. That baby's birthday is tomorrow. And is she home? Is she, is she gonna have a birthday party? I don't, if Don Candace didn't do this, that's what I wanna prove. And I want the police to prove that. And I want the police to get the right person. But if they're guilty, then that's who needs to be arrested, right? That's just, I don't care, I don't give a shit who did it. Right, I don't care. That baby's birthday is tomorrow and, and, and she is not gonna get to have a birthday. And for a little while, 